The LHC is the Large Hadron Collider. That's what it stands for. And it's a very large ring of magnets. It's on the border between Switzerland and, and France, and it's a big circle that cuts across the border. It has the ability to circulate two proton beams of 7 trillion, 6.5 trillion electron volts each in opposite directions, and they collide in four points, and in those four points, there are big detectors that analyze the collisions that stream out of the interaction. CMS stands for the Compact Muon Solenoid. It's a large experiment that analyzes collisions from one of the four interaction regions at the LHC, and it's based on a magnet, a solenoid, which produces a magnetic field along the beam lines. The particles from the collisions curve in the field, and if they curve a lot, they're low momentum particles, and if they curve very little, they're high momentum particles, so we can measure the momentum and angles of all of the particles. And from all of this information, all of these signals, we reconstruct what happened right at the collision point and try to derive the laws of physics that govern those collisions. The LHC produces uh, conditions when the beams collide that are the kinds of energies that existed right at the beginning of the universe. So what we are looking at is nature as it existed 13 billion years ago, more than 13 billion years ago, and we're seeing physics when it was very, very simple, before the world cooled down and things kind of differentiated. So we're seeing the purest physics that we know how to look at, and we're trying to see what the ultimate rules of matter are when life is really simple. Fermilab is the host institution of the U.S. effort in the CMS experiment. Uh, the U.S. is the largest single contributor to the CMS, it constitutes about 30% of all of the experimenters, about 30% of the institutions, and of course, it has very good infrastructure, so it can be very effective in making those contributions. Fermilab has contributed components to the machine. Fermilab also has built several detectors that have gone in as part of the CMS experiment. It has a computing center that analyzes a very large fraction of the collision data, and it has a center that brings students into Fermilab from all over the U.S., but in fact from all over the world, and constitutes a center of excellence for data analysis in CMS. Well, CMS never sleeps, so I never sleep. There are 3,000 people. They're really smart. They're really energetic. They keep you going all the time. They have complex problems. They deal with very complex issues. And they also have very difficult paths in life. Careers are difficult in particle physics. You have to make sure that people have opportunities. You have to make sure that, that things are handled fairly. There are a lot of technical issues that you have to deal with. There are physics issues that you have to deal with. In fact, it's probably the most fun job in the world. <laughs>